Hey everybody, some gadget guy here, and today we are reviewing a killer pair of headphones, the Sennheiser Urbanite XLs. As you can see, I'm already wearing them, so uh, why would we bother doing an unboxing? We want to talk about the cans. Moving forward with my headphone and headset reviews, if there's the ability for me to run a line from the actual headset to my audio recorder, from now on I'm going to try and do the audio all with those headsets and headphones so you can get a sense of what these things are really going to sound like, especially once you start using them for things like online gaming and taking phone calls. Plus, I'm kind of cheating a little bit by starting off with a pair of Sennheiser headphones as you're really not going to find a manufacturer who is capable of building a better microphone than the company who owns Neumann. The Urbanite line of headphones are Sennheiser's entry into a more fashionable headphone arena and you can definitely see that they've got beats in their sights. And the Urbanites come in two flavors, the Urbanites and the Urbanites XL. We're reviewing the XLs which are over ear headphones, not on ear. The regular Urbanites rest on your ear and I typically find that for music listeners when I just want to sort of experience an album. I like over-ear headphones, and when I'm working, I like on-ear because they tend to clamp to my head just a little bit more securely and block out additional noise. And using the XLs, I would say that's definitely still accurate. These things are super comfy, but I don't feel like they're locked onto my head like other on-ear headphones I've reviewed in the past. Now, the build quality and design on these headphones is simply second to none. I'm telling you, man, it's the Germans. They build audio equipment like they build cars. We're talking an intense focus and attention to detail over every single piece of the assembly on these cans. First of all, the overall look is very clean and simple. Thin headband designed, perfectly circular ear cups. Starting at the top of the headphones, we've got this great canvassy material and this excellent stitching running across the top of the headband. But on the underside of this headband is where you'll find a spongier air pocket, which helps better distribute the weight of the headphones across your whole skull. These cans are collapsible and we've got these great stainless steel hinges right here at the corners, but even the edges on those hinges are beautifully finished off. Unlike some other headphones, like these Vmoda M100s, which I really do like these headphones, but the edge on that hinge is very sharp edged and metallic. And I've actually pinched fingers in there and it is not a pleasant experience when you're trying to open these things up quickly, you get a little piece of skin caught in between. I was not able to replicate that kind of pinching and thus I was jamming skin into the hinge on the Urbanites. Unlike headphones that have sort of a ratchet and click action for adjusting the fit and size, the Urbanites have a perfectly smooth action on the earpiece which feels like it's rolling on casters. It's just a beautiful premium luxury car feel for a pair of consumer headphones. As Sennheiser built their reputation on building out studio grade, studio quality recording solutions, even little touches like the flat cables that run into the ear cups. Just a terrific touch for keeping cable management out of the consumer equation. They slide up and down with the earpiece as you adjust the fit, and they don't stick out from the ear cups far enough for you to worry about them getting tangled on anything. Traveling down onto the ear cups, we've got a great memory phone cushioning. I still feel that on-ear headphones get a little warm. I'm probably gonna get a little sweaty as this video goes on. I've just gotten way too used to in-ear monitors. While these feel secure on my head, they don't feel like they're crushing my head in a vice, and these cushions go a long way to helping these things feel like they're molding to the sides of my face. And Sennheiser's attention to detail even extends into the ergonomics of putting the Urbanites on. Where let's say you were taking these out of your bag in a dark situation, there are three little dots above the left earpiece that you can run your thumb along just to know that that's the left side. So you don't even need to look for L and R symbols on your ear cups. You can put them on by feel and know that you're getting the proper stereo imaging. And traveling down into the cable, the Urbanites come in two different flavors, one for iOS devices and one for Android and sort of everything else devices. And that really just extends into the functionality of the three button remote that's on the micro phone dangling from the earpiece. You can use it to skip tracks, play, pause, answer, and hang up phone calls. Although I was really happy to see that even using the iOS flavor of the headphones and then moving over into an Android device, I still had quite a bit of functionality using just that center click button. If I have any criticisms with the Urbanites, it's in how the cable connects to the left earpiece. It is a removable cable, which is nice as you might need to buy a replacement years down the road when parts start to wear out. But after it connects into the earpiece, it swivels to lock in place. And I find that swiveling action is just a little looser than I'd like it to be. I'm telling you, that's the biggest criticism I can come up with on the build quality for these headphones. With all of that discussion on build quality, design, and aesthetics, I suppose we should probably talk about sound quality. Now, I've read through several reviews from a number of different outlets which praise the Urbanites for having beautifully airy and crisp highs and punchy and aggressive bassy lows. 
And that really hasn't been my experience listening to music on these cans. Now, in my experience, Sennheiser has been a very conservative company in juicing the EQ across the stereo and audio spectrum, even for their consumer products. And the Urbanites for me fall into that category. Bass is present, bass is punchy, but it's not overly aggressive, and these cans are not gonna rumble your skull. Ditto the highs. They're clear and they're accurate, but they don't shimmer, they don't sparkle. It's a really funny thing to discuss, but when I go back and I listen to things like the remastered Beatles albums, and I'm expecting a certain quality of upper tape hiss, you know, from those classic audio rock recordings, and it's just not quite as present or as tangible on these. Like, I'm lacking just that little bit of upper air. And as I've gone through and listened to a number of different musical styles from EDM to hip hop to uh, alternative rock and some really experimental stuff, some funk, but I feel Sennheiser was so conservative with their EQ strategy that the upper mids actually start to suffer just a little bit. They're a little duller than I would like them to be, especially for placing instruments around you in the stereo spectrum. It's most apparent on overly limited, very, very loud albums and tracks. For example, pulling up all of that mid-range saw distortion and buzz on a track like WTF from OK Go. Now I feel OK Go made that album too loud. It's like peaking the entire time. But you do start to lose just a little bit of that fine texture detail, that little bit of buzz or rasp on these headphones. Now all that being said, I still personally prefer a more even and accurate EQ approach rather than the hyper-saturated or hyper-colorful, really juicy sounds from the smiley face EQs that we'll get on something like Beats or SMS Audio. I've personally just spent way too much time listening to audio on studio monitors. Audio quality is really just gonna come down to your particular listening habits and what styles of music you enjoy the most. And if you're going after really punchy, bassy, synthetic electronica, these might not be the cans for you. Though I had a great time on these things listening to classical, instrumental, jazz, and uh, classic rock. So where's that leave us on the Urbanite XLs? These things are a clean, sophisticated, gorgeously designed product. And I think they do a terrific job of raising the stakes for other companies for improving the build quality, fit, and finish of consumer solutions at this price range. Shopping these things online, you can often find the XLs, depending on what color scheme that you wanna pick up, for around $200. That's a pretty solid buy for very good Good sound quality and excellent craftsmanship. And while I did get a little twitchy about the upper mid EQ, I can't think of another pair of headphones that I genuinely like better, especially in terms of sound quality, that won't run at least $100 more. Between that $200, $250 price point that you can find these things online, again, depending on the color scheme, this is a fantastic solution, especially for someone on the go, someone mobile, someone looking to listen to music and watch movies on a phone or a tablet or a laptop, especially for that individual who's shopping for something with a little style, a little flash, a little pizzazz. And they come with a pretty terrific mic built in for phone calls and video chat. As Sennheiser is one of my absolute favorite manufacturers of studio grade solutions. I'm now feeling pretty good about their consumer offerings too, especially as they step into an arena to compete against Sync and Beats and a number of other manufacturers who are really trying to push style into their audio gear. I'll of course leave some links down below this video for more information on the Urbanites, the Urbanite XLs, and where you can shop them online. As always, thanks so much for watching my videos. Uh, be sure to hit subscribe if you'd like to see more videos and reviews like these, and I would not be able to continue producing these reviews if you all weren't out there sharing them with your family, friends, and on social media. So I can't thank you enough for bringing more cool people to the party. Hit that thumbs up button, and I will catch you all on the next review.